Hi guys, today we are going to unbox this uh, smart motion sensor TP-Link. Uh, this is also required uh, as TP-Link uh, smart hub. Top of smart hub is required. So this is the box. Uh, this also works on RF frequency. Uh, top of hub required. So this is the package contain batteries. It runs on CR. 2450 not like a regular 20 normal 20 it's like something what they usually use CR2032 but in this they are using uh, CR2450 let's open the box and see. let's see what's inside so this is the sense unit okay that's it some paperwork um, installation quick quick start guide um, how to mount it that's it keep it there keep it there this is also normal paperwork or a frequency and app installation ever yep this is the unit it's this is the first pri sensor motion sensor the smallest uh, unit i'm seeing so tiny mm, this is inside this is the tool for like opening the back uh, cover some pry tool type they have given and this is the 3m sticker round this mount this mounting actually has a magnetic uh, also i will show you later in this video this is the unit this is a parents lens and this is the led indicator here something else let's open this this is the indicator this is the rubber actually this this is the rubber kind of thing Some soft rubber so it will it will not as it moves in this uh, cavity it will it will be okay. you can see inside you can see the neodymium magnet so it will stick to the magnet as well this so they also given 3mm tape 3mm double sided tape as well so you can use anything so this is the thing so and uh, if i need to open this cap you need to use two hands first of all you need to raise this tab and twist it as, as you can see the arrow mark so first of all see how tiny this one is so let's compare it with this so this is the battery normal battery okay there's no so see how tiny this one so that's a tiny device okay now we'll, this is the lock we need to use two hands and twist it this is the thing Inside, actually, I removed the battery. This is the battery CR2450. So, this is the inside. So, so, this is the tiniest PRI sensor unit I'm seeing. So, not sure how well it, uh, what's, how well it performs. So, let's open it and see inside okay and this is the PCB as you can see copper antenna around the frame it's a 6 dB antenna and this is the IoT controller beside to it is the RFIC this device works on RFIC RF frequency so this is the copper antenna simple 
just straight c shape c shape kind of thing this is a 6 db antenna and in, in the center you can see the uh, landscape for the pri sensor this is the rf antenna ah, sorry rf ic you can see the lining going printed a line so you can also see the you can also see the U us and eu yeah, this is eu standards so you can see the capacitor at the eu side you can see the capacitor at the eu side so if we say us version then it will be at the us side uh, it will be stick so that's the thing so <coughs> As you can see, it's a dual layer PCB. On the main PCB, the PRI sensor PCB was stacked, and this is the lens uh, for the PRI sensor. As you can see, As you can see this. You can see this is a stacked PCB it was so, so it was shouldered it has two pointing shoulders or shoot two shoulder points at one side and the another side back side just back battery uh, contact terminals and the reset switch and that's it nothing nothing else in this side mm. That's it. This is the IoT main IoT IC. Low power, low power. They said this is also a low power uh, IoT IC. So, so uh, out of all this uh, sensor switch, this is the only one I got issue. So it's after uh, it's not immediately detecting the motion after a long time so if it was if, like if i leave it for around 10 hours like that if no motion then it takes some time to detect so this is the lens inside so this is the lens cap on the pri sensor you can see the windows this will decide the uh, like a field of view and then this is the pri sensor you can see this is nikara nikara Nik, nikara brand something like that nisara nisara brand okay this is the pri sensor the, the, the only problem i notice with this sen and this uh, sensor i mean this unit this product is like uh, it's sometimes not triggering the motion at the first moment uh, like if uh, if there is no motion for a long time like i assume like a 10 hours like that uh, what what I mean to say is that if this device will go into a deep sleep mode after after some time and there is a motion detected after a long time like a 10 hour something like that uh, this device not instantly uh, like in a wake up wake up position so it misses that first motion detection after uh, after that it will detect immediately so that's the thing i notice also i want to mention uh, one thing here that uh, after a long time when there is no motion this device going to sleep more uh, due to which when you observe in the uh, in the topo app uh, if you check the device information there will be no signal in the it was showing that there will be there was no signal 
like it was showing like uh, there is no signal from the uh, from the sensor from the motion sensor uh, as you can see uh, on the screen uh, screenshot from the app you can see there is no signal bars no signal bars and the signal strength is zero oh, due to this whenever there is a motion detected after after a long time uh, the device is not able to wake up in and the first uh, uh, it's unable to det uh, wake up and uh, uh, it's unable to detect motion at the first instance but immediately at the second instance it will detect also i noticed one more thing like actually this sensor was intended to use in indoors as per the tp link website so i placed it inside the home only but it faces towards outside at my main door so what happened is that if there if there is some heavy rain outside this sensor detects that as a motion and it triggers an alarm so it detects rain as a motion even i try to lower the motion sense to, to, to low but even though at sometimes it's detecting so this pri sensor will detect rain as well that i notice in this